Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, right now, I've uh, been kind of sleeping off a, a, a flu or some type of stomach virus the last couple days, um, but uh, also kind of working on getting the boat unwrapped. As you can see, she is a beaut, man. She just needs to be a little bit uh, cleaned up too, but um, she's looking really good, ready to, to go to a, a new home, a new owner soon. Um, but, uh, anyways, yeah, I just figured I'd take advantage of this hot weather before, uh, things start getting cold. It seems like every single year I go to, um, you know, unwrap my, my boat, my truck, uh, it's, it's in like November and the temperatures are like really cold and I'm having to like, you know, sit there with a hair dryer and warm things up little by little, but Definitely glad that I was able to get this off before it started getting consistently cold. Um, but while I was in bed, you know, sleeping off this flu or whatever I've got, um, I got the email about the changes for the 2024 Bassmaster Opens. And when I got it, I almost didn't open it up because I was like, eh, it's going to be same old, same old. You know, payouts are going to be disappointing and and uh, it's just not going it, to... It, it's. I, I don't even want to see it uh, because, you know, the opens really for me are just to make the Elite Series. They're just a stepping stone for the Elite Series and the Classic. Um, obviously, if you win one or you're in the top five, you can make some good money. Um, but but it, realistically speaking, you know, fishing them full time, um, they're generally not money makers on an average year, which last year was kind of an average year for me. It's a little bit subpar as far as points go, but... But average as far as like the amount of checks. I ended up making five checks this last year, and I think I only made like fifteen thousand in change um, from those five checks. But when I opened this file or this the you know the new changes this this uh, email that they sent out, um, I was really surprised. The first thing I saw was they they did increase the entry fees two hundred dollars, so now they're an even two thousand dollars. But the good thing is. Um, they didn't increase the deposit, which I really, really liked. And I appreciate that because, um, you know, it's it's not but a week before we have to, to register and coming up with an extra $200 or whatever per uh, tournament as a deposit is a lot to ask for, uh, for a lot of people, including myself. Um, so I'm glad that they kept the deposit at 800 bucks. So that's not changing. That's not really, uh, you know, affecting us at all. Uh, but then we get into, and I saw that, I was like, oh gosh, you know, they probably increased entry fees just a little bit, but or the payouts just a little bit. But then I went down and started reading down the, the uh, event payout here. So check this out. Um, the first thing I noticed was the EQ AOI payouts. They're paying $45,000 to the AOI of the Opens next year, which is essentially an Elite Series uh, entry fee package. And then uh, 12000 for for second, and then it goes all the way to 10th for $3,500. That is pretty impressive uh, for really, uh, you know, not having these kind of payouts for, for AOI before. That's a pretty hefty increase in in their their aoi payout i think that they did something this year i think it was like 10 grand for the first place aoi finisher jt tompkins um but i don't know what they did uh beyond that but that's a pretty good payout for aoi but then you go down to the pro payout uh, of course this is based on two, 225 boats but that being said i think the first six events of the year this year were 225 boats so this payout schedule is going to be pretty true uh, to at least half of the events i think for this next year if it's anything like this year um, but look at this okay so uh, fifty thousand for first, twenty thousand for second. So twenty second place kind of went down a little bit, but then you've got good numbers all the way down to through the top ten. Uh, I mean, I I think that that tenth place wasn't anywhere near, um, you know, uh, ten thousand dollars this last year, uh, and then you've eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth, you know, nine thousand to six thousand dollars. That's that's just that is way better. But then you go down here. This is where where I could really put in perspective because I got a 14th place finish. Um, and I've got, I had three within this 14 to 30 place average. And 
The 14th place finish I had this year was at Watts Bar. So that one didn't have but 180 something boats. So I can't, I'm not a math wizard. So I'm not going to do like the math on like what the payout should have been per this schedule. But what I can say is that I finished 24th at Toledo Bend and, and, um, and then also where, what did I finish? I finished, uh, yeah, 24th at Toledo Bend, and that would be within that 14 to 30th place range, and I had $3,700. So that's a $1,300 increase uh, in the uh, in the payouts for 14th through 30th. That's huge. And then 31st through, through 45th, they added five more spots that they're paying. That's $4,000, okay? So for the very first time that I've seen in a, in a long time, I can actually, if I finish in the 14th through 30th, I can make about a thousand dollars on top of my, what my entry fee was. And also what my, my expenses were for an average event. I can actually make money. You know, this year I finished 14th here at Watts bar and I netted, I profited $400 on my home, like sleeping in my bed, not having any of those travel expenses, uh, you know, associated or very minimal travel expenses. And I still only made $400 for a 14th place finish. And, uh, this next year I would have uh, pocketed probably about, you know, um, I, I guess I would have pocketed about, you know, $1,300 extra. So, uh, that is super, super, um, encouraging. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I did the math yesterday and, and about, you know, again, I'm not doing the math as far as adjusting for the, the uh, size of the pay or the size of the field because the last three events didn't have full fields. But um, I made five, uh, I made five uh, checks this year. And, you know, out of those five checks, I should have made $6,000 more. I would have made over $6,000 more with this new payout schedule. So that is a big boost. And that is a, a huge step in the right direction for, for the opens. I mean, that is, that is one thing that, that has been really, really difficult to, to, to take is going from, you know, fishing for $10,000 checks and making, you know, making a profit at every single tournament to, you know, at best breaking even uh if you're just unless you finish in the top 10 or something like that um so so i don't know if this uh this is because of the some of the news that has been coming out from from major league fishing and this kind of a response to that um and kind of making it a little bit sweeter for guys that want to just go ahead and go over to the opens and and you know start their their journey back to the elite series i don't know if that's that's the case but i appreciate this a lot because this is uh these are really really solid payouts uh compared to what we've we've seen in the past and uh you know what i mean i'm all about that because if i can make even just a little bit of profit at a tournament that i make a, a just a decent check um, that's a that's a big deal uh, at the open level. So, anyways, guys, those those are the changes that I'm seeing. Um, I, I I really do think that that this this payout schedule that they put out is really going to um, you know encourage a lot of people to fish the opens next year. I think that we're going to see a lot of full fields, uh, and because they've got you know at first seeing the three up in the kind of the Midwest up up north, you know, in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and and uh, Michigan. I thought that those would be small fields, but I'm talking to some guys that are just saying those are going to be absolutely cram packed because there's all kinds of people up there that don't really want to travel down here uh, to fish and open, but they'll definitely fish up there. So those we may actually see full fields for every single open next year. But then again, the economy kind of sucks right now. So who knows? But anyways, I commend Bass for, for uh, you know, juicing the pot a little bit and uh and making it a little bit more profitable for us you know especially the guys that are fishing all nine that are incurring a tremendous amount of of uh you know uh expenses throughout the year it's it is greatly appreciated and really really refreshing to see you know some some uh you know 
some money in the in added some money added to the the payout so anyways guys thank you for watching um i'm gonna get back inside take a nap and take some more alka seltzer um but i just wanted to give you guys the good news about the opens and uh maybe that'll help you make the decision whether or not to fish them next year Anyways, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to see you guys out on the water. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also trust the process.